Hello again guys. So here I am, I'm about, uh, I'm probably about 30, 35, 40 minutes out of Medellin on the way to Cali in Colombia. Uh, it's about uh, 6.30 in the morning. Just getting up to the top of a, one of the mountain peaks. It's quite pretty here. People having some food. A lot of trucks on this road. I've been stuck behind some trucks and, uh, and we're going down the other side now, so this will be nice. Yeah, so on this note before you go, uh, uh, I'm doing a little series on things that you should think about before you leave. Uh, budget for, understand, if for your trip to, through the Americas, USA, Central and South America. Um, and this one's just basically on tipping and um, and you know when you should tip uh, and when you shouldn't um, now the thing is like if, if you go into any of the tourist areas you're going to be paying pretty high price for stuff uh, the best the best food you're going to get is uh, is um, is on the street, the street food. Now, the only problem with street food is it's very cheap, and that's not a problem, but the people who sell street food are selling it to the locals. They're not selling it to tourists for the majority of the countries you'll go through. So they don't make much money out of it, okay? So when, you know, I always make sure, I nearly tip double what they charge me because it's so ridiculously, what the fuck are you doing, you fucking idiot? Um, so it's so ridiculously cheap um, you know you might be paying two dollars for a tacos and they give you a whole heap of vegetables you know and uh, it's quite magnificent you know and so you know like at if, if you're gonna if you're not gonna if you're only gonna tip a small amount at least tip 25 percent more okay I, you know, 25, 30, 30, I mean, I would say uh, 50%, but, you know, if you're really on a budget, um, that's where you're going to save all your money. As an example, in Cartagena, in the old city, I had some ceviche. It cost me about, for, th uh, for two bowls of ceviche, they were about 45,000 each uh, pesos, which is about 12, 13 dollars, which is pretty much what you pay in the US, okay? But outside of town, like the, the Colombian ceviche that I got from a street vendor was something like, no, I, I think it was something like 5,000, which is uh, $1.50, you know. So all I can say is that, um, all I can say is, is that when, when you're tipping, if you're in a, if you always look on the receipt in the tourist areas, because a lot of the time they have, I think it's called uh, proglado, and that means tip. Um, I'll actually put it in the description and what, which what's the actual word for it. Um, I should remember it. Uh, so just remember that the poor people in the villages tip them well, because you know they don't make much money out of it and it's not costing you much and you're getting a friggin super bargain and, and the food is delicious too so if I, I, I'm not even saying if you're on a budget even if you've got money and you, you don't you don't really care that much don't don't go to the you know there's there's some nice restaurants in the cities and stuff like that but go go into the villages and, and have the street food it's friggin phenomenal always beautiful and fresh I haven't had one dodgy meal the only dodgy meals I've had have, have been in the tourist areas you know um, so yeah so it's not compulsory to tip um, you know I've read some things on some people say oh you know just give them a change whatever's left over that's just cheap you know um, you hear you know and, and, it, and it makes you feel good that you've helped you know you help someone and they put a smile on their face you know uh, so and especially if you get a good meal because you will. I mean, some of the some of the ceviches and the tacos that I've had on the on the road, I've just, but I just sit there and go, oh my god, I wish I could share this with somebody. Amazing. 
Um, yeah, so enjoy your, enjoy yourself and uh, and just remember, um, tipping is optional, but but in the villages, go for it. In the in the in the uh, I would say in the tourist areas, if there's no if there's no tip, just give them the extra change because you're basically being ripped off anyway. So there you go guys, I'm going to try and squeeze down the 